everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at some figure two packs from the Imaginex Spongebob line. Now you'll notice two of these are from the Spongebob, I guess, cartoon toy line. And two of these are from the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water. Uh, they kind of did a second Spongebob line when that movie came out. I didn't see the movie. To be fair, I don't really watch much of the show. I just kind of like the little figurines. I think they're awesome. So these two are from the movie. These two are from the cartoon. But this one is just kind of the basic Spongebob and Patrick set. Spongebob has glasses in this one. They come with a net to try to catch the jellyfish. On the back it says, "Who in the be Who's in the Best Friends Forever Club? Spongebob and Patrick. That's who. <laughs> I like this uh, group shot here of all the sets. I kind of wish I had gotten this one with Spongebob and Squidward's house. But unfortunately I missed out on that because I kind of got into these too late. I also really like the pirate ship. I think that's pretty cool. And Gary. Next up we have the Caveman Spongebob and Caveman Patrick. I don't know if that was an episode that actually happened where they were cavemen. Why are Spongebob and Patrick dressed as cavemen? That's my question. In an epic Spongebob Squarepants episode, Spongebob and Patrick are Neanderthal friends in prehistoric Bikini Bottom who discover fire after an underwater thunderstorm. Alright, well there you go. That answers my question. <laughs> oh, I like this one a lot too. Man Ray and Hot Rod. Oh, and the jail. The jail's pretty cool too. Yeah, a lot of stuff I missed out on, unfortunately. First, for the movie ones, we have Invincibubble and Sir Pinchalot. I pretty much picked this set up because I don't have any kind of representation of Mr. Krabs. So when I found this one, I decided to grab it because I unfortunately do not have the normal Mr. Krabs from the original line. <laughs> Plankton. Who, how did, in, wait, hold on, I can't read. How did Spongebob and Mr. Krabs get superpowers? Oh, uh, you have to find the answer in the all-new movie, which is now an old movie because it's been out for quite some time. Mr. Super Awesomeness and Sour Note. <laughs> That's funny. Sour Note. The Squidward is always grumpy. So yeah, pretty much I picked this set up because, again, I have no representation of Squidward either. I believe if we look at the back of the other one over here. I think originally, yeah, there was a Mr. Krabs and Squidward 2-pack, which is very old and hard to find now, so. I would have much rather had that one, but what can you do? So I got these ones from the movie. So that's pretty much it for the packaging here. Go ahead and get these guys out of the packaging so we can take a closer look. So here are the figures out of the packaging here. We'll start on this side. Here is the normal Spongebob with his glasses. As you can see, he has this large net, which is used to catch the jellyfish. It's a pretty neat little net. I can't really tell exactly what it's made out of, but pretty cool. And then this is the jellyfish which has no moving articulation or anything like that. It's just a solid piece, but just gets caught by the net. Here is the SpongeBob. Pretty standard. He has the normal shoulder articulation, has the legs that can bend. I always think it's funny when they have <laughs> the legs that kind of go into the body when they sit down because it makes them look so tiny. But otherwise, pretty excellent little SpongeBob figure. Here is the normal version of Patrick. Again, he's got kind of the same shoulder joints. And then his legs don't really bend. They just kind of slide around. So he doesn't really sit very well. But he looks good. Then we have Caveman Spongebob. All the same articulation as the normal Spongebob figure. He's just got a big unshaven beard. And then here is the caveman Patrick, very similar. His leg does not want to move at all. This leg moves, but the other one doesn't. I don't want to break it, so I'm just going to let it go. But I'm assuming it's just really tight, but it's not a big deal. They come with this giant club, but both of them holding the club will fall forward if you have it just like this. So you kind of have to raise it above their head or something just to find a balance so they don't fall over. But 
Either way, I think it's pretty funny, the caveman Patrick. Now, the other accessory these two come with is this uh, log on fire. And if you're familiar with this, if this looks familiar, it should. It is the same piece that comes with the Yeti backpack. Uh, the Yeti Explorer. <laughs> he has the backpack with the snowshoes and everything. It's the same log on fire from that. Shifting over here to the ones from the movie. You have Incredibubble. I like this giant bubble gun that he comes with. That's pretty cool. He does have a little bit of trouble standing, uh, even without the gun, just because his legs don't lay 100% flat, and it's probably just mine if I just kind of bent him a little bit to make him more, you know, straightforward. But the nice thing is you can just kind of put the gun down, and that'll make sure he stands up. But overall, he looks good. He's got this crazy bubble thing on top of his head, and he's definitely built. He's got big muscles. Uh, he does actually have wrist articulation. None of the other ones do. This is the first one to have wrist articulation because he's kind of a larger than normal figure. And then he does have the waist articulation like that. We have the Mr. Pin... What is it? Sir Pinchalot, I think it's called. Sir Pinchalot. So you have Mr. Krabs. He definitely has the same <laughs> symptoms that his legs almost completely go into his body. Now, he has the shoulder articulation here. And this one was really tight, but he can kind of get it. It doesn't even move all that much. Definitely can spin around, no problem. And there's no any articulation anywhere else in the hand. But the in and out joint is really tight, so just be careful. Don't force it too hard or it might break. Otherwise, he looks good. Crazy Mr. Krabs, Robo Krabs. Then we have, <laughs> this name is absolutely ridiculous. It is, I had it a second ago, Mr. Super Awesomeness. You can tell Patrick named himself <laughs> as far as superheroes go. He kind of reminds me of King Hippo. I feel like someone could easily customize this into King Hippo uh, from Punch-Out. He even kind of looks like he's wearing boxing gloves, so I feel like that would be really easy. So someone on the internet get on that. Even a Digibash something would be cool. But yeah, so that's super buff Patrick. And then last but not least, we have Sour Note. His head, I think, is supposed to move, but it doesn't want to. So again, I don't want to snap his head off. But he's got pretty much normal articulation because he's got the most uh, human body amongst all of these figures. But there you go, Squidward with superpowers. He comes with this, like, oboe weapon. Yeah, I don't know. But he looks pretty cool. So that will do it for all of these SpongeBob Imagine X figures. I'm definitely glad I picked them up. I got most of these at uh, Toys R Us as they were going out of business, except for the two superhero ones I actually found at Barnes & Noble. Sometimes Barnes & Noble has a little bit older stuff, so if you're looking for some older sets, uh, definitely check out your local Barnes & Noble because they do have Imagine X stuff, and they're usually a little bit older, so... Definitely like these. Definitely recommend them if you guys are a fan of Spongebob. Even if you're not. I mean, like I said, I'm not the hugest fan of Spongebob. It's not that I have anything against it. I just don't really watch it. But I just think these little toys are pretty cute. And I think they're awesome. So I decided to grab them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.